Welcome everyone, this is Quentin from Wicked Journey and today we're here to find out any updates from the uh, peanut celebration because that is starting on January 22nd of 2022. Uh, the other thing is we're going to go for the limited edition food over at the Wilderness Broiler which happens to be the jambalaya. I haven't had jambalaya so I'm interested to see how it tastes. Alright guys, let's go and see how much trouble we can get into. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Wilderness Broiler to get the um, jambalaya. Uh, that is the limited edition food that's here and it's here until the 23rd of January. So we're going to go get the uh, food on that and then I'll go ahead and review it. And there's the uh, Wilderness Broiler and this is where we're going to go get the jambalaya and it's right next to Oni Express. So we have the jambalaya with uh, sausage, chicken and shrimp. So with some rice, some uh, green onions or scallions as they would probably say. So this is fun. this is limited edition. It's gonna be around till January 23rd. And look at that, look at that piece of sausage right there. Mm. Oh man, oh man. This is really good. Sausage is nice and spicy. Wow. The rice is soft, not too bad. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't like hard, crunchy rice. Do you like it a little bit soft? There's a bunch of things Mmm. Oh. This is so good, guys. If you get a chance to get this, highly recommend it. Let me see if I can get some chicken in here. There's the chicken right there. Mmm. The meat's just so tender and juicy. Incredible. Oh, look at that. That's a green bell pepper. I love bell peppers. Oh, man. Now, if you guys don't come and get this, you have no idea what you're missing. Okay, last meat. You can see it. That's the shrimp. Shrimp's pretty good. I usually like a little pop as soon as you eat the shrimp. To me, that's perfect. This is a little tender, but it's still good. But man, whew! If you don't like heat, this, got, this has some heat to it. Oh man, it comes with this non, non bread. Look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's do this. Get a little bit in there. Put a little sausage in there because that's what's mainly in here. There we go. A little jambalaya taco. Fusion of, oh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's good. Mm. Oh yeah, that naan bread is good. Mm. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal. So, sorry about cameras all wacky. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal. So, and. Uh, See you on the next one. Wow, guys, that, that jambalaya was incredible. I mean, it was very tasty. It is very spicy, too, so I, I think I'm going to pay for that in a little bit. <laughs> more ways than you know. Um, all right, guys, uh, we're going to go check out on some more updates to see about the peanut celebration. And then also, uh, I understand that they're putting in a pizzeria and a brewery. So we're going to go check that out. All right, guys, let's keep going.
Okay guys, here we are. And this is the walls here. And what used to be Hollywood Hits. Now they never really had a title on there, but that's what they were calling it to reference. Now this is the concept art. I'll have to see if I can find anything online. But I don't know, if, if you notice right here when I get my finger out of the way, see if I can get any closer on it. It says mobile. I think that's a sign for the mobile ordering. No one's really addressing that, but Nutsbury Farm is gonna be doing mobile ordering pretty soon. But look at that. The Pizza Pie Factory and Boysen Brewery. Man, this is probably gonna be a fun place to hang out. And it says coming soon, opening summer of 2022. That'd be really nice. A nice addition to Knott's Berry Farm. Now it'd be really interesting over here to see, you know, it go up and see how, how they're gonna, you know, put everything all together. I guess it's also sponsored by Coca-Cola. I'm gonna find a sign that also says that. But, you know, if you can see the sign back here in the background for the uh, peanut celebration. It's coming guys, it's coming. But I don't see that much decoration so far. Uh, there's just a little bit out around Ghost Town, but everything, everywhere else, not so much. So I, I don't know if they're just gonna hang around main, mainly in uh, Ghost Town and Camp Snoopy, which I haven't been to yet. And I don't know, I, I've, I've never been to a peanut celebration. I never really knew that they had one. So be interesting to see it. Uh, Well, it looks like they got the uh, stage all set up for the show for it, for the uh, peanut celebration. So this ought to be fun. Uh, hopefully, I can catch that and then catch the performance, and then uh, you know let you guys enjoy it as well. So, but yeah, everything's starting to get all set up now. Yeah, guys, looks like the uh, log ride is gonna be out for a little bit. Uh, I kinda know why, if, if the rumors are true, I think they're supposed to be replacing the boats. So probably they might be leaking, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing, that's just speculation, but I think they're replacing the boats and they're probably gonna do maybe a little bit of refurbishment inside. But, you know, I, I don't know how old the ride is, it's pretty, it's been here since I've been going and I've been coming here a long time. So back in the 80s is when I've, I remember coming. But I mean, look at all that, dry lake, even the tracks are all dry. Crazy. But yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you gotta refurbish and fix things sometime, right? Why not pick now when it's winter? Not that many people are gonna go on a wet ride, but believe it or not, people do. But I'm not one of them. <laughs> all right, let's keep moving, guys. All right, so I'm gonna get some steps in, kind of work off that jambalaya I had which is excellent. Um, yeah, I, I usually go down this way by the log ride uh, next to the panda, uh, only because you can tell what the crowd levels are like because it kind of bottlenecks and everything. So this is a quick look. Crowd levels are like non-existent today, which is nice. The way we can, you know, kind of freely walk and get our steps in. Get some weight loss going. Get rid of some of that jambalaya before I drive home. So, all right guys, let's keep going. I, I love how they uh, theme this 
uh, over in Ghost Town, you'll see uh, the Peanuts gang with uh, cowboy hats. And over here in, in near Camp Snoopy by Montezuma's Revenge, you basically have uh, a Mexican theme. That's very nice. I mean, look at this. Very cool right there. All right, currently uh, Montezuma's Revenge is still open. Well, temporarily it closed for a couple of days and then they let out a Instagram notice saying that they were gonna reopen it uh, for a limited time to allow other people to enjoy it. So, yeah, it's I've never been on it, but unfortunately uh, I'm not gonna go on it today. I, I just don't know what my wrist is gonna do when I try to hold on to the bar, so. That's the first time I've seen this. I've always just seen Charlie Brown regularly fishing, but he's got a paper bag over his head and there's fishing with no water. But somehow we got a fish. <laughs> nice. That about does it for today. Um, I had some good food. That jambalaya was just excellent. That was probably like the, the best limited edition food I have ever had. That was so good. Um, as far as decoration goes uh, for a peanut celebration, it's very limited. You see like little plaques and ribbons here, you know, mainly scattered around Ghost Town. I saw a little bit out in, uh, on the edge of Fiesta Village. But the one place I thought would really have it prominent would be Camp Snoopy and nothing. Uh, you know, this is my first time with peanut celebration, so I don't know exactly what they put in there, but most, mostly it could be just show or whatever. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna find out when uh, I come here to Peanut Celebration to see what it's all about. I'm not gonna come here on the first day. Um, I kind of learned my lesson to, you know, not really come by on preview days or anything like that. I kind of want to get the full experience, so I'm probably come the next day, possibly on the 23rd. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see what my schedule's like, which is kind of open. But we'll see. Uh, you know, but right now there's no new merchandise uh, out yet. The, the decorations are very, very slim. So I, I imagine it's just basically a takeover of Knott's Berry Farm when the actual peanut celebration comes in. And as far as anything dealing with food, mum's the word. And there's nothing, nothing yet about any of the food that might be uh, served here. So I, I, I think, Knott's Berry Farm on purpose is just keep it quiet because you know once they let the cat out of the bag then all the other theme parks come in and, and strike down like hawks and tear you apart so it, it, that's fine you know it's I, I'm good with secrets anyway guys thank you for watching until the next time when I take you to another wicked place good night everybody